Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Training. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 40 minute walk interval workout for you. So if you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry because we're gonna have all that display for you to see on your screen right over here. And then you look over onto this opposite side of your screen. You're gonna see this nice long progression bar. That's gonna show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. So let's make sure we have a towel and a water bottle handy because we are gonna get sweaty today. So if you're ready to get sweaty, Let's look down that tread, hit that start button in three, in two, and one. All right, so good news today, it's all walking, okay? But we do a lot of different things. We're gonna walk on some hills, we're gonna walk on some flat roads, pick up our pace. So if you're newer to like your fitness journey, this is the perfect place to start, okay? So we're here for 90 seconds, so it's two, five, three, five. So I like to tell you, start off slow, right? We're about 30 seconds in. So if you're on the lower end, two, five, give me a little bit more, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. We still got about another minute to go. So the thing about walking workouts is you kind of go in one mile per hour can change a whole lot. So kind of like when you're running, you can probably run at a five and you could probably still run at a six and it's still not so aggressive, but walking at a three and walking at a four seems like two different spectrums of, of fitness, right? So. Take it slow, right? That's what the warm up is here for. Start off slower. Notice how you feel at that lower pace. We have 30 seconds. So I just want you to take it to a three, five, even if it feels a little fast, I just want you to know what it feels like, okay? Do you feel like you could walk a little faster? Yes or no? You don't have to, you don't have to let me know, but there's a question you just ask yourself, all right? And if you feel like you have more, you can always increase. Usually we walk from a 3.0 to a 4.0 and we don't really go out of those paces unless we take it into a power walk, which we have some today. We're gonna take it three, two, one, three on an incline. So I told you, we are going on some hills. Now you can pick up your pace, 3.0 to a 4.0. So still in the warm up, right? So if you're at that 3.5, but you really wanna try for that 4.0, go for it. Take your time or two minutes here. So you don't have to just rush in and turn it on. But if you're ready, bump it up just a little. Even if you're not going to that full 4-0, maybe you're at a 3-8, 3-7, making your way up to that 3-9, getting the things out of your eyes. A lot of pollen going on here, okay? So I'm gonna take mine up to my four now. And I'm just gonna see how that feels. Okay, I got my three on my incline, four miles per hour on my pace, and then I know we have a lot of people who are part of our IBEX family, but if you're new, we have a rule when we're walking, you're not allowed to touch the handlebars, okay? You're not allowed to hold on to things. You're using your body. You're pumping your arms, because you're not getting a full body workout if you're holding on for dear life and your legs are just flapping in the wind, okay? So, pump the arms. Breathe in and out through your nose. You're gonna work harder. If it feels like too much stress to not hold on to the handlebars, that means you need to lower the pace just a little bit. Don't go down to a three if you're at a four. Take it maybe a three, five, three, six, three, seven. Hold it there. So 30 seconds from here, we're just gonna take it down to the flat road. See if we can keep the pace the same. Feeling all right? Feeling good, okay. Once we get out of this last piece of the warm up, I'll kind of go over how the rest of the workout is gonna go. You guys, I love walking. I just did the craziest run workout. So if you are into running with us, but just today you didn't feel like running, oh man, you're in for a treat. Okay, coming soon. But this one, this one also is good. So I'm enjoying this after the ride. I'm going up a hill, okay? So, up. Oh. Take that, take the incline down. I was talking too much. Incline down. That happens. Well, jabbering your jaws, Rachel. We gotta cue people on what to do. Well, you feel the difference on that hill? So the first, first block that we're gonna do, we're gonna go three minutes on the hill, one minute flat road. But when we go to the flat road, we're gonna pick up our pace and go into a power walk. Then we're gonna go four minute hill, one minute flat road, three minute hill, one minute flat road, four minute hill, one minute flat road. So flat road, hill, flat road, hill, flat road, hill. Okay. I know. But good news is, okay, 
30 seconds. The first piece is three minutes. We already were at this hill. We're going right back up to our three. The pace can stay the same, okay? So we're basically, we've already done this. So you don't gotta freak yourself out. 20 seconds, you're just gonna give me three on the incline. Shake out those arms. Tune out the rest of the world. There's a point. In 10 seconds, I'll finish my sentence after that. Eight, seven, we're just going up to a three. In four, three, two, three on the incline. All right. There's a point when you start walking, you can feel it in the upper abs. And that's always my favorite part. Now give me that core work. I love core. I love abs. Keep pumping. Keep working. Squeezing those glutes. Pumping the arms. Breathing in and out through your nose. Oops. Accidentally hit my pace down. We ain't doing that today. All right. So walking, right? It's like one movement. There's not much going on. So it kind of like your brain can kind of just take a little break. You don't have to stress really about what's coming next. Next movement, how you need to move your body. This is basically it. We're either coming up a hill, down a hill, picking up pace or bringing it back. So what I want you just to focus on is your breath, right? How you feel internally, mentally, right? It's so like, what's the reason today was the day you decided to put this video on. What was it about this video that made you want to do it? Was it that it was 40 minutes? Was it just because it was a walk? Was it because it said walking intervals and you were like, I want to know what that is? You know, I just kind of want you to start understanding your choices. And if you find it difficult, that's fine, right? It's okay to do things that are out of your comfort zone, but you already picked it. I always say this in all my workouts, you picked it, turned it on. You've already spent almost seven minutes in the workout, right? Don't quit. You're already here. Whatever else is waiting for you on the other side, I promise it'll still be there. Just commit to yourself to give everything you got for the next 34 minutes. And I promise you're going to leave here and feel better. All right, we have one more minute here. We're gonna take the incline off and we pick up our pace. So the pace is three, five, four, five. So if you're on the taller side, four, five should be okay. You should probably still be able to walk. All my shorties out here, you four foot nothings, five foot, five foot nothings, right? I'm close to you, but a little bit taller. Four, five is like a run. Okay, if you got little legs. I just want to put that out there. Just because we're giving you these suggestional paces doesn't mean that those are the numbers you have to abide by. But I want you to try, right? If it's too easy, you're not sweating, give me point one, point two on it. 20 seconds, incline comes down, pace comes up. See, four or five for me, I'm definitely turning it into a shuffle. I don't know if I can keep walking. You need to keep one foot on the ground at, the, at all times. I don't know if I can. I think my body just needs to add in a little hop to hold the pace. Here we go, five, four, three, two, incline down, pace comes up. So I could add on, I usually don't tell people what I'm running at, walking at, but I'm at like a four, three right now. This is like my max. I don't think at four, five, oh, what, what in the world? I didn't even touch it. Just trying to put that out there. <laughs> I barely, I thought I went up one and I went down all. All right, but you're only here for a minute. Okay, so you're just taking down that incline and like, it's like you're going, you're picking up, you're going down a hill. All right, you're going up a hill. You're going up a hill. Well, then when you get to the top, it's like, yeah, I'm picking up pace. And then you go to another hill and then you're picking up pace. That's basically what it looks like, okay? So this part of the workout looks like stairs. We got 10 seconds. You can take off what you put on. Again, 3040. This time we're at four on the incline, and it's for four minutes. We go three, two, take a little of the speed off. Four on the incline. Listen, four on the incline is nothing. I just got done running up to 12 and back. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. I think I saw some stars at one point. Yeah, they're not all easy. Keep working, keep pumping those arms. Four minutes here. So, 
Oh, it's so nice, okay? So we're starting, this is just our hills basically, right? We're going up our hill, we're picking up pace, going up our hill, picking our pace. I'm gonna even be nice to you and tell you what the next block has in store. We start high on the incline and we just slowly taper down. That's it, slowly taper down. That's the next block. We start a lot higher. We start a lot higher though. Hydrate, drink water when you need it. Right, we wanna just be present in the moment. Inhaling new air, new life, all that peace, all that positivity. Exhaling all that stuff that we don't want. You know we got it. Let's be real. I'm gonna start calling Be Real with Rachel because let me tell you, when I'm working out, this is when I work out all my bull crap. So when I'm just let it go, figure out what's really important. Am I overreacting? Are things really as bad as they seem? Help prioritize what's really important in your life. And look at, look where you are. You're here for you, right? You are important. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Just keep walking. We got one more minute and that's it. Can you believe that? And then you're already done with this hill. We pick up that pace again. We have another three minute hill, another four minute hill on this piece. And then we're done. Once we're done with this whole block, we're pretty much halfway through the workout. It ends like at 22 minutes, the first block. And then it's like 20 more minutes, the other block. Just follow my lead, guys. How you feeling though? You right? Starting to get a little sweaty? Yeah. Start to squeeze that core. Even if you are like an avid fitness person, you run, you run miles. I'm talking about you run miles. Like when you go for a run, it's nothing less than five. You know those people, you're like, if I'm not running for an hour straight, I didn't even work out today. I know those people, <coughs> guilty. So sometimes, I'm almost gonna tell you a little secret. Sometimes your body don't wanna listen, right? Sometimes your body wants to give up. We're gonna take that incline down, pick up that pace, right? We're going three, five, four, five, flat row, take it down, pick up that pace. Sometimes your body don't wanna listen. Sometimes your body is screaming at you to like have a recovery moment. Now what we should be doing, right? It's really listening, going towards that recovery moment, <laughs> getting a massage, taking a nice bath, like relax, but I get it. Not all of us can do that, okay? Not all of us can take the day, right? But this is what's good for you to do. My point is, there's always an option. You don't have to go 100, 100, 100, 100. Yes, that's great. You give yourself 100% effort every single time, but sometimes your body will, cannot perform at 100%. So mentally, you need to be there. Physically, it's okay if it doesn't work. Okay, you gotta, there's a fine line. All right, you ready for that three on the incline? Five, four, three, two, three on the incline. Take down that pace. We're here for three minutes. I hope you guys can kind of understand what I'm saying. So like if you're new to your fitness journey, yo, this is honestly where you need to be. I tell anybody who asks me to train them, if you can dedicate three days out of the week to yourself just to walk, you're not ready. You're not ready to commit to yourself, so you're wasting everybody else's time. So, so be honest with yourself. It's okay if you're busy. It's okay, like if a lot of things, you have a lot of moving variables. It's okay, you have kids and, and you're making them priority number one. I'm saying just, just breathe, you're all right, okay? But you have to start. If you don't start with yourself, nobody's gonna come and be a magical genie and poof and put you into great shape. Okay, that's not how life works. You have to start. You have to stay consistent. I'll say it all the time. Consistency is the key. How do you do that? You wake up a little bit earlier, go to sleep a little bit later. You do what you gotta do. You don't make an excuse, you make it a priority. I say that all the time. I don't care if people get mad at me, but those are your options. You have something you want, you either make an excuse for it, or you make it a priority. Let me tell you, I wake up at 4.30, not even 4.20 a.m. every single morning. I work out 
two hours every single morning. Yes, it's my job. Okay, yes, it's my job. But I go home, take care of my kids, come back, go to work, go back, go to, go to another job, come back, go to work. Like, there is never a point in my day where if I didn't want something, I didn't make a time for it. If I didn't get to it, I didn't get to it. I try not to beat myself up over it. But there's never a point where I'm just like, there is no place that I just, no way that I can make it work. You have to figure it out, right? If you have kids, right? And you're like, I don't have a gym. Put them, put them babies, carry them, put a little baby. What are those baby yours? Go for a walk. It starts somewhere. Start somewhere. Even if it's even if it's silly. Even if that baby is sleeping, you only have 15 minutes, and all you're doing is squats, push-ups, sit-ups, and you're just doing that consistently for 15 minutes. Guess what? You did something. But you can't complain about getting no results if you put in zero effort. That was mean, but it was true. I stand and I'll stand beside it. Okay. I get it. life is crazy. We all have we're all walking different paths. Not everybody has the same thing going on in everybody's lives. We don't have the same opportunities. Some of us work constantly, grind constantly, some of us don't have free time. But it's your life. This is your body. Like I said, there's no magical genie that poofs and takes care of it for you. Take that hill down, pick up that pace. Let's go. That's how easy it is. I'll just keep talking you through it. <laughs> it's nice, right? We have one more in this piece. That's it. We go back to our four minute. Oh, is it only three minutes? It's only three minutes. Whoops. All right, it's only three minutes. No, four minute hill. This is wrong. It's not me, it's them. It says four minute hill, but it's only three minutes. So you win today, 20 seconds. <laughs> and maybe it's four on the incline. It's four on the incline. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Four, three, two. Just give me a four and incline. You don't have to worry about it. Just go up the hill. All right? You're here for three minutes, and we take it down for one. That's it. Feels good now, right? Y'all think you're not going to lose weight by walking, you crazy. All those things on Instagram and YouTube. Oh, jump to cardio, you're not going to lose weight. Rah, rah, rah. Silly. Silly. You move your body for an hour, you add a sedentary life, you add movement to your body, guess what's going to happen? Your body's going to change. Okay? You have a sedentary life. You move your body, but you start eating like, like a king, like an extra ton of food. There might be a little bit of an issue there, but... You're keeping your diet the same and all and you have sedentary life you just start adding movement in kind of just like something's gonna happen believe in the process all right it's not today is we start tomorrow we're chiseled Greek Greek statues this whole process and like in moments like this for walking for me is actually enjoyable there's not like one point of me walking where I feel stressed or you're like, I'm never going to finish. It hurts. I can't breathe. You know, like it's an actual enjoyable workout. So you just like, even if I keep talking too much and you hate the sound of my voice and you like just got your music on, you're just listening to what I'm telling you to do on the screen. Totally cool, man. I get it. My kids do it to me all the time. <laughs> They're like, uh, what did you say? Were you talking about it? Take the headphones out. I know you guys got something like that. All right, <clears throat> minute 15, we take it to our flat road for our last little push. We pick up our pace, then you get a one minute walk and recovery. Here we go, last minute here. Starting to feel it in your core. Notice too, because I can't even feel myself. The start get a little fatigued, right? Because it's gonna happen. You've been going what, 20 minutes already? Muscles are going to start to, to try to cheat. It's what happens. We get tired. Our body tries to find ways to make it easier on us. So I can feel myself starting to round in 
and give myself like a little bit of hunchback. And then I can already feel my core not being activated as much. If I sit up a little bit taller, right? I'm not arching back. I'm just rolling my shoulders back. So I can put my arms a little bit better. I automatically feel it in my core more. That's good. That's good stuff right there. All right, 10 seconds. We take down the incline. We pick up the pace. Three, five, four, five. And three, two, take the incline down. Pick up the pace. Oh man, I never took down my pace. <laughs> I've been walking fast. Well, and that's how it happens. You don't even, sometimes you don't even realize you're working harder. But what a difference on huh? a flat road. So after this, okay, we're gonna recover for a minute. I really, it's 3.040. Take it to the low end, okay? Take the minute recovery, grab some water. Slow down the pace, grab some water. You got 30 seconds till we get there. If you're super sweaty, dab yourself off. Try again, dab yourself off and walk again. <sighs> I tried, I tried, okay? 10 seconds, we go. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You're still gonna be on a flat road. All right, I'm gonna take mine down to a three, right? I just want you to feel the difference. You're walking on that four side, right? Or beyond. Feel my long limbed ladies and gentlemen out there. How do you feel? Okay. So. The next one, we start on the hill, we stay, keep the pace the same, 3040. Listen, this ain't the part, right? We're going higher on the incline. I'm gonna be a stickler today, because I know you can do it. This isn't the part, right? We just did some hills, 3040, and I told you to walk on a four. Now that we're walking on an incline, don't go to a three six. Don't do that, you're already walking at a four. You can handle it. It's only a minute, and it's gonna be over before you know it. Every single minute, we take a whole 1.0 off the incline. It feels, every time we drop down, feels a little bit easier. Starts harder, right? But gets easier. All right, we're going five. Pick up your pace, 3040. Here we go, three, two, give me eight on the incline. Like I said, every single minute, we drop down. So we have eight drops, obviously. We're going eight to one. Our eight to flat road, eight to flat road. Once we get to the flat road, we have a recovery walk. We pick up our pace for one more block. It's only five minutes and we just push at, at a faster pace and then we're done. That's it, okay? So slowly come down this hill for eight, eight drops. I'm gonna keep this over here. Okay, 30 seconds, we go down to a seven. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whew. What a difference walking up a hill and <laughs> running up a hill. I usually don't feel so gassed in workouts. That one was hard to talk in, I'm not gonna lie. But, job the best. Here we go, five, four, three, two. All right, oops, wrong one. Seven on the incline, just drop down one. And two more, this is not even gonna be a big deal. You might feel them now, okay? I want you to think about going heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. And as you drive that leg back, squeeze your glute, squeeze your glute, bum, 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 like that, okay? I know it sounds silly, but think about it. You're going bum, 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 bum. You feel your butt cheeks, right? You feel the squeeze, you feel the contraction. You need to put the mind and the muscle together. Sometimes you see people working out, and they're like, and they're not really, they're not there. You're not getting much out of it. You need the mind to the muscle connection. You need to be focused on what you're doing. You work harder, scientifically proven. I don't know the percentage, but it's, it's something spectacular. All right, we take it down to a six, and four, three, two, down to a six. <sighs> Let it out. Like I said, every single minute here, we're taking like, just like a whole load off of us, basically. It's a little bit easier. If you are um, new to the channel, right? I wanna just say like maybe, maybe, 
Yeah. You can get your parents to do this. I really wish I could get my mom. I talk to my mom sometimes. <laughs> really wish she would try my videos. Mom, come on. Let's, we're, I know I'm the middle child here. <laughs> okay? I get middle child syndrome. You try this video for me, if you ever even loved me. <laughs> Why you like, are you serious? Of course they love you. Here we go, three, two, one. Take it down to a five. How cool would it be? You know, like I know that um, this would be hard to do outside, but I have some options. I said this in one of the other ones. I know we have like inclines and hills. <clears throat> you, don't, you don't have like a hill you can visually see, but you have a track, right? When you get to those flat roads and those faster walks, you go around the track. Most tracks have stairs or bleachers. When we're going on those inclines, just slowly walk. You don't have to walk fast. Up and down those bleachers. Give yourself a little bit. There's always options if you don't have a treadmill. That's what I'm trying to say. I know, these things can be pretty pricey. Not always the easiest thing to get, a, especially if we don't have room in our houses, right? But there are options. If you don't have one. Even if you have, if you still, you still run out of ideas, just message me. Message me on Instagram. I'll give you some good ideas, okay? Five, four, three, two, you never bother. Trust me. If I can help you get to the next stage of your fitness journey, I'm winning. <laughs> one team, one fam, fit fam, run fam, walking fam. Let's go. You're already almost done with this hill. I just won't put that out there. A little bit easier now. Now you're in the, the part where it's like not even thinking that you're stressed about walking on the hill no more. You're back to your enjoyable pace. Almost 27 minutes into this workout. Keep pumping those arms. Keep squeezing those glutes. 15 seconds, we take it down again. Feeling good, team? I know it. You're almost to the finish line. You got about like 12 minutes left of this whole workout. And the last two and a half minutes, you're cooling down. So 10 minutes of hard work left. Take it down. Three on the incline. We have three, two, one. So three more drops. One minute recovery. Five minute fast push. Cool down. So just like just this little portion. Just this little portion left. If you're tired, it's okay. Acknowledge you're tired, right? But you're not a quitter, right? Yes, I'll say, it, I'll say it seriously because you would be surprised how many people just find it so easy to quit. Find it so easy to say, no, I'm done today. You think that you do that here for yourself that you don't do that on a day-to-day -day basis. I was watching the Conor McGregor thing, the um, documentary he made and I, three, Two, one, take it down, two, and then climb. He said something that I think about all the time, right? These are a very disciplined person and like you set goals for yourself. He was saying how he, he in training, 100% dedicated, but off training, he would cheat. He would let him, he would allow himself this little thing. This, have a drink here, eat this extra piece here, do, do something he like would, would take him out of his element, but all of that, right? Not staying focused. It's okay to allow yourself to have a break. But like if he's in fight camp, obviously, your training in the gym and out of the gym needs to be 100%. You have to give yourself 100%. If you allow yourself to cheat, right? You're not dedicated. You're giving up somewhere. So don't quit now. We're going back down. I think we're on one on our incline in three, two, that's it. After this, we're on a recovery walk. Don't allow yourself, right? To take it, like say, you took it down to a flat road right now when we're still on a one. Don't do that. It's only one on an incline. It's only one minute of your life. Don't say, wake up today and be like, today, no snacks. I'm only eating my X amount of meals. I'm drinking a lot of water. You get to the very last moment, you do the workout. 
You put in the work. You sweated your ass off. You ate those meals. You didn't snack all day, but it's 9.30 at night. Man, the cartoon or whatever show is really juicy. All you want is a little snack. I want to say you enjoy your life and live it, but what would feel better? Waking up, knowing you gave yourself 100% start to finish for that whole day, or the snack? The snack? Somebody said this to me one time. Or take it down to recovery walk in three, two, one, three, oh, four, oh, and flat road. They said, this is true, and it may not be true in every situation, but in, in my life, right, that snack is going to be there tomorrow, right? If I want that snack, I can go out and get it the day that I allow myself to have it. I don't need to eat it in this moment. In this moment, it's a mental thing, right? I don't want crack. You don't want to crack. Stay strong. But diet is, is an interesting one, right? Because it's all mental. You got to get to the root of the problem. You have to figure out if you're mentally tough enough to stick with whatever goal it is you want. That's why a lot of people struggle with it because they allow other people to tell you, no, it's fine, you can have it, you look great. That's fine, you can look great. They can tell you you look great till you're blue in the face, but if you don't like that version of you, right, and you're not doing anything about it, you're not gonna feel good. It's never gonna happen. Three, two, guess what's happening? Three, five, four, five, we pick up the pace. You're at your five minute push here. Oh man, I went too fast. I went too fast, okay? I thought I was jogging for a second. So we're five minutes, we're just pushing it out and then we cool down. Listen, everybody has their own body image issues. I don't think one person, there may be like a select majority of humans who look in the mirror and genuinely 100% love everything about them. I wish that for everybody, honestly. I don't look in the mirror and say, you perfect girl. I look in the mirror and be like, if I just hear, got more muscle here, I do it all the time, I'm guilty. I just wanna put that, like it normalize that it's okay and you shouldn't feel bad or like that if you want to feel a certain way that you should feel bad. There's healthy ways to doing things and there's unhealthy ways of doing things. We gotta just keep an eye on our patterns. But if you want change, you gotta be changed, right? can't listen even if somebody tells you you look great but you don't feel great take the next steps to do do something for you maybe i'm gonna be honest the other day i was feeling like i was feeling like garbage you know what it was i was dehydrated for a week my training sucked i was more emotional simplest thing dehydration and i like i thought about it i'm like i do all of these things right it's the simplest thing i'm like neglecting the smallest, the smallest thing that makes the most sense. I'm neglecting myself it. Why? I just, out of sight, out of mind, just wasn't drinking too much water. But I digress. I digress. My point is, you got you to gotta just make the change. You got to really evaluate your life, right? And you got to just think, where can I improve? Where am I solid? You, you know what I mean? Like, where, there's always room for improvement. Okay, look at here, guys. We got three minutes left on this push. Three minutes. We're just walking it out. After these three minutes, we cool down. I mean, fastest 40 minute walk ever. I like walk on too. Do you feel it in your hip flexors? I feel a lot going on. Like I feel like these muscles work a lot. Lower abdominals, hip flexors, glute muscles. When I run, I feel it a lot of times in my back. Walking, not so much, but that's why the arm swing is important. That's why we say don't hold on to handlebars. This motion right here, right? I'm moving my core, I'm working my back, right? Even the arms. So people say it's not a full body workout. It's not gonna be like you're gonna get like huge biceps from walking. That's not what it's there for. It's an exercise for the inside and outside of your body. Work in the heart, work in the body. So that's like, that's the next evolution to get you to want to try to do other things. That's why I was saying, you can't commit three days to doing the simplest things. Why do you think you are ready for the harder things? Start small. Reduce your goals to the ridiculous. Heard in a podcast, make them so hard to not achieve. They seem silly. Pull my shoes on in the morning, tie them, double on them. 
that's a goal. Did you do it every morning? Boom, did it, make a new one. Something simple. Can I walk three times this week? Yes. Did I do that for three months straight? Yes. Now we'll move on to the next thing. You're like, she's crazy. She's legit crazy. Well, I got nothing. <laughs> I really just adamant about it because I had to figure it all out on my own. You know, as much as social media is great now for all of like the motivation and inspiration, it's the, it, you can listen to it till you're blue in the face until you start believing in you. That stuff doesn't make much sense. Okay. Start off from the bottom that way here, right? I told you guys I'm an amazing singer. Let's go. 40 seconds. And then we finished. Now we gotta cool down. We'll finish with the horde port. We're gonna take it down to a 3040. Should be over right now, right? You should have been in that faster pace. We're at 3545. 30 seconds. Dun 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 dun. When you're done, make sure you stretch, make sure you hydrate. Towel off. I like to stretch in my bed. That's fluffy. I teach yoga a couple days a week, but never fails. By the end of the day, even if you walk, man, your back is a little tight. So stretch it out. Five, four, three, two. Take it down, three, oh, four, oh. I'll take mine down to like a three, five for the cool down. And then my recovery walk to a two, five. So we're three, oh, four, oh. I have mine right now at a three, five. We're here for 90 seconds. Now, how you feeling? I'm proud of you guys. Should be proud of you too. Even if you woke up extra early, you skipped your lunch break, right? You had somebody watch the kids or take care of the animals so you can get it in. Proud of you. Because I could be honest. Uh, the mom thing, I know I bring it up a lot just because I am one. I feel so guilty all the time. All the time. I, and my kids are older, 15 and 13. Never fails. I don't think that feeling's ever gone away. Where I feel... Like, it's okay for me to leave them to go work on myself. That never, I don't know, it's never, I just really try hard to, to instill in myself that if I'm happy, I come home happy. If I do something for me, it makes me happy, and I come home happy. And if I'm happy, they're happy. And I really do believe that that's real facts. So, don't feel guilty, moms out there, dads out there. You know, you deserve, you have one life. You deserve, oops, to make the most of it. All right. But yeah, 10 seconds, we take it down to a two, five, three, five. It's our recovery moment here, baby. Oh yeah, in three, two, one. Take it down to five, three, five. It was the first time walking at two, five since the beginning. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow motion, baby. Yeah. You're like, I could walk like this. This is, we call this mall pace. Hey, I want them shoes. Hey, you know? Small pace. <sighs> only 30 seconds left. Oh, only a minute left. Sorry, minute, minute left. Let's recap. That first block was a three-minute hill. There were actually all three-minute hills. Three-three-minute uh, hill, one-minute pickup pace, right? So I remember our hill. It was like we're going up the hill, picking up pace. Going up the hill, picking up pace. Going up the hill, picking up pace. Then we had that recovery walk. We started at the top of the hill, right? Cause like, just think, we were like all the way up here and then we slowly had to come back down and we picked up the pace right into that finish line. That was our workout today. You're like, she's drawing f finger paintings. <laughs> yeah, it's a finger graph, okay? In my head, it makes sense. Listen, I hope you feel good. Please make sure you stretch, right? If you're new to working out, starting your fitness journey all over again, you're gonna be tight, you're gonna be sore. It's normal. That doesn't mean stop, okay? That means maybe take a day, come back, and, then, and another day. Hit that step button in five, four, three, two, one. This is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. 40-minute walk interval, and I'll see you next time.